Hi, this is Chen Nguyen from Finale Inventory. In this session, I want to show you how to configure your Finale account to push back stock levels back to your shopping carts and marketplaces. So let's open up Finale here. And in this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to use these two products, the blue polo shirt and the silver polo shirt for our test. I'm going to open up uh, another window, our test big commerce store. Um, in this demo, we're going to use the big commerce store, but the configuration to, to configure your other marketplaces and online channels are, is exactly the same. So let's go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you the configuration that we have, we're going to need to set up. So if you click on the, for this product, the, the polo shirt in this, in this demo, we have a variant set up. Um, and you know, a couple of things that's really important when you set up your, your marketplace or shopping carts is for inventory, make sure your inventory is turned on. So here it's basically track inventory products by options. Uh, if I click on options and click on SKUs, you know, I went ahead and already renamed my SKUs to 1001 silver and 10070 blue. As you see here, the stock level is basically zero. On here, you know, what Finale is configured to do is push back available numbers back to your marketplace. So here it's 90 and 100. So let's show you how to kind of connect the two systems and what Finale push back stock levels back to your marketplaces every five minutes. So the first thing you do is, um, you know, as you see here, the product ID for this product is 10070 and 10071. As you, if you go back to your big commerce store, it's essentially you know, 10071 silver and 10070 blue. So we, what we need to do is create an Excel file to basically import that mapping to, to basically communicate the relationship between the Finale product ID and also the big commerce uh, SKU. So you could do that, let's just open up Excel. And I went ahead and did that already. So what I have is a three column Excel file. Let me just kind of zoom in so you can see that a little better. And this is basically a three column Excel file. One is the product ID, Finale product ID. One is the product lookup, which is essentially the SKU here. Then lastly is the stores to add to basically communicate you know, what store is it. So if I just copy this and open up Finale and go to import export, you can click on import to batch and create and update product lookups. So if I paste in here, so basically here's my Finale product ID, here's my SKU, and here's my store. I hit commit, and then we're all done. So if I go, let's click on one of these products here, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you know, you'll, you'll essentially see, you should see a big commerce. So here it is, big commerce here, and the mapping to this product ID is 10070 blue. If you want to know like exactly at any given time what you're pushing back to your store, what you can do is run a report called um, stock each store and product lookup. So this gives you a at any given time exactly what Finale is pushing up to your, your marketplace or shopping cart. So here, select Big Commerce, click on Export PDF, and here's what Finale is basically going to be sending up. And here's the product ID, here's the a corresponding SKU, and here's the quantities that we're going to push up. So everything's set up properly so the last thing we need to do is basically hook up the accounts um, so how you do that is go to home and click on connections uh, you hit add new connection and once you get add new connection you get a screen like this and essentially what you do is you just basically hit edit connection and follow the instructions to basically um, uh, authenticate your big commerce store to finale so after you do that, you know what you see here is you'll say mode is set to disabled. So what you want to do is basically edit hit edit task configuration and select that to manual. So we just want to manually run it one time to make sure everything's working correctly. So I can hit save it, go back to connections. So after you save the changes, you can go to, back to Big Commerce and hit run task now. And this basically manually initiates the job to finality push back the stock updates to your product. So let's go back to your big commerce store. If you go here, see how before it was zero 
um, for the silver and blue, but now we have basically a hundred uh, shirts for the silver and ninety blue polo shirts. So you know, after you get everything, you know. If it, once everything is, is hooked up correctly, you know, the last step you do is you hit edit task configuration and you just basically change it to automatic to basically configure your finale to push back stock levels um, every five minutes back to your store. So let's do one more operation and um, kind of simulate how the uh, system works uh, when you have a sales order. So let's just you have an online order come down. So I'm going to create a new sale here and quickly create one. And what's it say on the online sales order? Um, I'll type in the test. And what's to say this order was um, put placed Sunday night and you don't deliver on Sunday night. So what happens is when the sword comes down, it's in the mark sale committed state. It's in the committed state, you know, in the wait, you know, if you're using ship station. The state that I'm talking about is the awaiting shipment state. So if you go back to your view stock, you want to type in polo test. Here's my two products. And as you see here, if I click on this turn out arrow, we're basically reserving stock for that sales order we just created. So now we have 90 on hand, but we only have 75 available for sale. So what Finale would do is see what's the available and in five minute increments, it would push back up that those changes. So I'm just going to manually run it here, so that way we don't have to wait five minutes. Here we go. So if I go to my view status wall, you can kind of see exactly what happened here. So basically, but now I'm setting up these new numbers. So if I go back to my store, let me refresh it to make sure it's pulling the latest content. But now I should it should say 975. And there you go, 975. So now everything's working correctly, and you know once you know as as you get more shipments or as you get more sales orders, the finale is constantly looking at that available number and pushing back those numbers back to your big commerce store. Um, you know this is the same you know, kind of process you set up for multiple channels. So if you're selling on multiple channels, but now we will essentially push back stock levels in five minute five minute increments back to your um, channels. And you know one of the the uh, benefits of Finale is Finale enables you to configure what you want to send back to each store. If you're, if you're selling 100 products, you, know, you can send 30 uh, stock levels back to your big commerce store. You don't have to set all 100. So you have a, a gr wide, great de degree of freedom to basically select what, which product you want to push back to what marketplace.